Okay, perfect. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and introduce myself once more. My name is Joshua Fox. I'm a technical account manager here supporting Aruba Networks. And today we're going to be talking about Aruba certifications. Um, so we're going to start off talking about, you know, why would you even want to get certified in the first place? What are some of the benefits for you? Then we're going to spend a lot of time in kind of going over all the different technical certifications there are, which ones you might want to target and why. We'll go from there into talking about a little bit of how you actually can find uh, classes for those certifications and, and how you can register for an exam. Uh, and then we have some guest speakers today that will be talking to you guys uh, about some of the additional value adds that Ingram Micro has for you and, you know, how, how some of the ways that we can assist are. So the first thing, uh, you know, I would kind of like to talk about, and, you know, I like to talk about this and oops, a lot of our slides, and that is uh, this uh, Gartner Magic Quadrant, right? So the Gartner Magic Quadrant is, is basically a report that's put out by Gartner every year. And, uh, you know, I love to bring this up as, as something that's important when you talk about certifications, because Aruba's been a market leader for the past 14 years. Um, we are the leader of Wi-Fi, um, and we've, we've come out on, on the top end or, or being close to the top end of this chart for many, many years running. Um, so whenever you're doing anything Wi-Fi, it's definitely good to have, you know, Aruba in, in, in your back pocket, right? Um, and, uh, you know, another thing I'd like to point out is this, you know, Forrester report, and, you know, another third-party analyst kind of talking about where Aruba is, and we are way ahead of the pack, mainly because of some of the things we've done with our IoT platforms and, and how we're trying to you know, encompass more than just Wi-Fi into our solutions, right? Um, so, you know, another kind of recognition there. But at the end of the day, you know, recognition is great. You know, what's the what's the biggest reasons you'd want to, you know, get yourself certified or even learn the Aruba product line? And, you know, a lot of it has to do with, you know, winning together, right? 93% of Aruba's business comes through the channel. And 96% of our channel business comes through some form of distribution, right? It's a huge business. It's a $3 billion edge business a year. Uh, uh, and, and the growth is just phenomenal with 15% year-over-year growth. And that's four, uh, three to four times faster than the average market, right? So today, um, you know, whether it be uh, your own personal growth, your own career, you know, a certification is definitely going to be beneficial for you there. There are lots of programs out there from Aruba to help you get certain discounts where certifications are requirements. And that's definitely going to be something to help you out. And if you are, uh, you know, an MSP, uh, you're selling in to environments um, and, and you're the one that's managing those networks, having that proficiency and that confidence to be able to be the one that's doing those configurations is absolutely, uh, you know, a, a really nice reason to go for a certification. Um, and lastly, just if you're the one, you know, selling uh, into environments, there are certifications to kind of help you in, in the design portion, you know, what products do I need and, and why. So if you want to, you know, get in on this kind of large growth uh, market that we're seeing, certifications can be definitely really great for the types of reasons. Now, before you ever get started with certifications, there's one thing you're always going to have to do, and that is going to be getting yourself a, a learner ID. Now, here's just a, kind of a screenshot of what mine looks like. I kind of blocked out my ID, so, um, well, you know, for privacy reasons there. Um, but what you'll want to do is go to the uh, mylearninghpe.com. Uh, uh, the link is right here, and you can see that. If you don't already have a learner ID or you can't get to that mylearninghp.com, uh, it's likely because you haven't signed up as a uh, partner yet. And uh, if you need to do that, uh, you can go ahead and go over to the partner.hpe.com and, and sign up to be an HP partner. We can kind of help you walk through that process if, if you're having a, you know, a hard time signing up being a, an HP partner. Uh, but once you've done that and, and you're starting to look into the certifications, uh, this is a good website that you can go to. I love this website because it's kind of an overall of all the Aruba certifications, and it's a really great way to talk, uh, great way to, talk to what's available. Um, so Aruba has career certifications and, and product certifications. Now, the product certifications are just have to do with a simple product um, or one type of solution, and it'll help you sell that type of solution, uh, whereas the career certifications kind of have a, a beginner, a medium, and then kind of a, a high-end expert type of level, right? And, and uh, the beginners are, are your associates, your mediums are, are your professional, and, and the experts are, are, are the, obviously the, the expert level certification. Uh, now, we break, break those career certifications down in, into five major categories, mobility, design, clear pass, switching, and edge. 
Um, now, Edge is a little bit special, and we're going to talk about that one last, but um, I'll go ahead and go left to right here. So mobility is going to be your certification that's going to help you in the configuration uh, of your actual wireless types of products, all the WLAN products, right? So that's going to be your access points, your controllers, mobility master, and so on. Um, with the associate level, you'll start with some of the more beginner types of configuration, the basic kinds of things that you'd be doing. When you move up into professional, you'll start learning more uh, about some of the more advanced products, how you're tying in Mobility Master, how the clustering works, how firewalls uh, and the rules that you're using inside of the uh, controller work. Uh, and when you get up to expert, they actually, um, and all of the experts, by the way, are going to do this, but they're going to put you through a practical exam as well as a written exam uh, when you get up to that kind of level. And there's going to be a lot more troubleshooting, and you're going to actually have to demonstrate your ability live to actually set up in an Aruba environment um, for mobility, right? Um, now, I, I could have mentioned this at the beginning, but I think it kind of goes without saying that any of the certifications that you go for are going to have, you know, a tight exam to it. Um, but that just kind of goes along uh, with what I was saying about those experts, that those are the only ones that are going to kind of require a practical exam. Um, so design certifications is the next one I would talk to you about. Now, design is a really good place to start if you're new to Aruba. Um, they're kind of more like your uh, pre-sales type experts, right? They're going to help you in learning what the portfolio has to offer and, and what you'd want to recommend, why you would want to recommend it, how to design uh, using Aruba products, and also how to get those quotes created as well. Um, and again, those start uh, with your associate level, your professional level, and then they go up to the design expert. The associate's going to have a lot of your, um, you know, your basic uh, product questions, how many access points do I need to cover X square footage, and so on. The professional starts adding in some of uh, when do you recommend, say, doing a layer two versus like a layer three cluster and a controller, and, and actually more than just the product, what do you want to keep in mind when you're actually going to be uh, deploying it as well? Whereas the expert is actually going to have that practical exam, and they're going to bring you in and have you do some of the the uh, iris as well uh, as the actual design that you're creating, right? Um, ClearPass also has those three levels, associate, professional, and expert. And much like design and our mobility, there's going to be varying levels of what you're learning in the associate and professional. And then when you get up to the expert for ClearPass, uh, you're going to be going ahead and, and, and doing that practical exam as well. Um, now, lastly, you have the uh, switching. Uh, and, and switching is uh, going to start again with an associate and a professional. Now, unlike the other three, there is no uh, expert level switching to Today. Um, I, I think they might be looking to add that down the road, but today there's just the, the associate and the professional for the switching certifications. Now, uh, I did mention that we also had those EDGE certifications and uh, that those were a little bit special. Um, now, that, uh, that certification, I, I want to say it's kind of like a bonus certification. Whenever you can achieve three out of the four other categories, you're automatically going to get that EDGE certification. So, uh, for instance, if you achieve the, the Mobility Associate, the Design Associate, and the ClearPass Associate, then you would automatically get the EDGE Associate. Now, the EDGE Associate is nice because, one, is, you know, it is a, a another certification, but where it really comes into play is when you want to go ahead and renew your certifications. Because three years after you start uh, and you finish your certification, uh, that uh, you can go ahead and take the EDGE certification and renew all of the certifications that you had under its umbrella. Um, so in that previous example, if you had the uh, ACMA, ACDA, and ACCA, uh, and in three years goes by, you could go take the uh, EDGE recertification, you take a, a test that is a mix of questions from the three tests that you would had to have passed to gain those certifications, and then it renews your EDGE certification as well as the three other certifications so that you wouldn't have to go take those tests again. Now, if you had all four, you could do the same thing. So, you know, if you had the switching associate as well, you could just test out on the EDGE and, and, and you'd be able to renew your switching as, as well. When you sign up for the EDGE recertification, you actually get to pick which competency you're recertifying for, so you would just pick whatever certifications you'd already achieved, whether it's uh, mobility, design, clear pass, or switching, and then that's what you're going to get tested on. Um, now, a couple other quick things I would note about these career certifications. Um, the higher level certifications do have a prerequisite of the lower level certification. So in order to achieve a professional 
uh, of any of the types of certification out there, you do have to have the associate of the previous one. So again, for instance, if I wanted the mobility the professional, mobility professional I, would I would have to have the mobility have associate. associate. And if I wanted the design expert, expert I would have to have, have the design have professional. Design. And to get the design professional, I would need to have the design yeah, associate, the design and, associate. And, and so on. And so on. Um, so that should cover just about, you know, what you can get for the career versus, uh, you know, um, what's in those career certifications. And then I already sort of mentioned it, but these product certifications, again, are, are made to, you know, specialize in a specific product. Uh, the ACMS is what you'd want to go for. Uh, if you want to do Aruba Central, that's going to be your managed services uh, type of uh, a specialist. Um, the AIS is an introspect specialist, so if you're selling a lot of introspect or you would like to sell a lot of introspect, uh, you can get a, a product uh, certification in that. And then the ALSS is the Aruba Location Services Specialist. That's going to be focused around our Meridian um, and the Aruba uh, Locations Engine uh, types of, uh, of products. So if you're doing a lot with Meridian or you're interested in Meridian, that ALSS is going to be nice. Um, and the last thing I'll mention on, on this slide here is uh, the, AL, the ALSS, ACDA, and the EDGE certifications are all newer. They were introduced in November. Um, so specifically for the ACA, uh, ACDA, the Design Associate, and the ALSS, uh, the Aruba Location Services Specialist, you'll see that uh, sometimes uh, registering for the courses uh, to get yourself registered and, and you know, prepared for those uh, exams can be a little bit limited right now just because they they are so new. Uh, and then last thing I'll mention is um, if you've done Aruba certifications before, you might be wondering about what about the, you know, the certification level here. Um, they got rid of that. Um, there used to be versions for certifications that had to do with the operating system that was most current. So for instance, um, you know, controllers were using, say, Aruba uh, OS 6.5, and then they had newer ones that go from 8.0 now up to 8.5. And if you were to go get certified on, say, you know, any of those tests, you might have a, a 6.5 that's the test you took, or an 8.0, or an 8.5, and, and Aruba just kind of got rid of that. They said, hey, this, you know, there's not that much difference in these operating systems. Um, if you're certified for, say, mobility, you're certified for all of it for the three years from the certification or, or the time that you got the certification. Um, so yeah, versions have disappeared. If you already had one, you'll have noticed um, through a claim that you should have the new new badge there for the new certification, and that uh, you won't have to worry about going in every time there's a new release going out there and getting yourself recertified. So let's say that you, you did decide um, that you wanted to get a certification that's on this page, and um, you know, for uh, for example purposes, let's say you decided, hey, I want the uh, the ACDA. I, I want to get the design under my belt. I do a lot of recommendations for, for different products, and I want to be able to do that for Aruba. So this is the process you would go through. First, I would start on the page that we're on now. All of these badges that you see are clickable. Um, so let's, for example, say you clicked on the ACDA one there. That would bring you right over to this uh, page here. Now, this page is going to have information about the certification that you're going for. You know, reasons to earn in good candidates for it, as well as the, the prerequisites, if there are any to be able to, to achieve the certification. Uh, and you'll notice for uh, this exact certification, the only real prerequisite here is that you actually pass the exam uh, for the associate level uh, certification. Now there is a course you can go to to prepare for this, and I would definitely recommend that if uh, you're not very comfortable with designing yet. Um, but uh, for all the associate level uh, courses out there, you can just go and, and take the exam. You don't need to do anything else specifically. Um, now with that said, there's four pieces of information to get from this page that can be pretty important. One is the exam code here, HPE 6-A66 at the bottom left there. Uh, there's an arrow kind of pointing to it. That's the exam code. For when you're looking to register for the exam, that's gonna be uh, important for you to actually uh, get the exam that you want. Um, and, uh, you know, another good piece of information right below that is the register for exam button. Now, if you click on that, it actually takes you over to Pearson View, and you can begin uh, 
the process of actually getting uh, that that schedule to go take the test. Now, over on the right-hand side of the page here, we have uh, a few other resources that you would want to be familiar with. One is this Aruba Design Fundamentals. If you click on that, it's going to take you over to the basically the place where you would sign up for that course, as well as the course ID. This is an ID that you can use to actually search for courses or specifically the ACDA that we're talking about here. So let's say that, uh, you know, this is the course that you want to go to, and uh, you do want to go take the training for this. Uh, so you would click that Aruba Design Fundamentals there, that link over on the right, and this is what it's going to take you to. Um, now, this page here is a page that you're going to log into with your um, partner portal credentials. Um, usually, now, I've already logged in when I'm showing this. So You'll see up at the top, you know, there's a couple of different things that you would be looking at. Now, when you click on that previous link, this is what it's going to take you to. It's just going to take you to the, the most current courses coming up. And, and you'll notice there's two here, one for North America and one for AP, uh, APJ, which is Asia Pacific Japan. Um, now, uh, a lot of us here in North America, probably everybody on the call is, and that APJ, that's probably not one that we want to go to, right? And let's say for, uh, you know, this instance that uh, you, you just can't go on the 14th through the 16th. You have something else kind of going on there. You need some extra time or uh, something else to go to. So if you go up to the search uh, catalog there, on, or sorry, to the search button to the left of catalog there and you click that, it's going to bring you over to another page. Now you can type in that course ID from uh, the, the first kind of place that we were at with the ACDA where we were learning about the prerequisites and everything. If you copy that, you can paste that right in there. You can pick what months you want to go. You can pick locations for it, language for it. Uh, you can pick what uh, location in terms of what country you want it to be in. And then there's also a drop down where you can just pick the course. Now for this example, I just put in North America and I threw in the course ID there and hit search and uh, you know I got a couple of different times here that we could go to um, and now uh, you know that I have a couple of different options that I might want to do so let's say you know that uh, first one in January doesn't look too good um, so I'm going to do the one in March and Dead. So I could click on the register button, and that's going to add it to a cart here. Now, this is what it looks like when you get to the cart. Uh, you'll see that you have the design fundamentals, the time that you've chosen, and so on. Um, and you would want to go ahead and check out from here. Um, when you do check out, on the bottom half of the screen is what you're going to see, and that's going to let you pick a payment method for it. Uh, and you basically here would want to pick one of the uh, one of these four choices. One, you can pay for the course via a credit card. That's probably one of the easier ways. Um, if you've been working with HPE, maybe you've done a training with them or had an event with them, you might have got a partner training voucher. That's a great way to kind of get yourself into this course um, while reducing or maybe even negating the entire cost of the course. So that's another option you can use. Uh, another way that you can pay for these is to go ahead and get what are known as training credits. Um, training credits are a way to purchase things like this through distribution. Uh, much like everything else through distribution, there are certain uh, discounts and, and promos that are always available. So maybe you had purchased some trading credits at a you know, reduced amount, so you're able to buy the course at a reduced amount. And if that's the case, you can click on the HPE purchase order. You can put the purchase order in there, and it'll go ahead and uh, let you get yourself into that course. Lastly, you can go ahead and do the uh, HPE employee registration. You have to be an HPE employee to use that one, but uh, if you are, uh, that's a definitely probably going to be your uh, preferred method to get yourself registered. Um, so once you, you do that uh, and, and you've, you've kind of registered, now you're, uh, you're probably ready to get in there and actually take the exam, right? Um, so you could use the register for exam. Uh, link there that was in that first ACDA uh, page that we started from. Uh, but if you go over to this website here, homepearsonview.com HPE, um, it'll take you over to where you can actually start signing up for the exam. Um, now from here you'll want to log on. It'll actually take you away from Pearson View to a separate site. And uh, that's what you're seeing on the bottom right of the screen here, and your username is just going to be whatever your HPE learner ID is and your password to, to get into that, right? Um, so you're going to be using that again, the, you know, the ID, learner ID is always going to be required for e e registering for exams, registering for courses, so you know, it's the same thing as, as before, you'll just kind of use it here, right? Um, now once you get into the there, you'll want to go ahead and on the 
top left here you'll see schedule and purchase exams. That'll bring you over to another web page where you can kind of pick what exams that you're looking for. There's proctored exams um, mainly for all of our Aruba certifications. Um, the web-based exams um, don't usually exist for most of those certifications, so you're probably not going to click on that one. Uh, there are sales certifications uh, that do use that, so maybe there is something of that nature you're going for, but our, our technical certifications are going to be using the VIEW proctored exams. Um, from here, you can type in the exam uh, code that was, again, on that first ACDA page that we started from. Uh, here it's HPE 6-A66. That'll bring up Aruba Certified Design Associate exam. You can also just type in um, the name of the exam and then pull it up that way. Um, I just prefer to, you know, use control copy and, and you know, control paste and kind of throw it in there just to save myself some time. But, you know, either way works. You can find the exam. From here, you kind of just choose, you know, what Pearson View Testing Center you want to go to, and you can go out and, and take that exam. Now, there's one last piece of um, collateral I'll share with you guys, and that's the uh, our certifications roadmap page. This is actually gets updated pretty often. Uh, you can take that link down there at the bottom. And what this um, whole page does is it tells you all the certifications, but it's not just Aruba, it's all HPE technical certifications. And it'll basically show you the path as well as the courses that you would want to have to go ahead and, and take any type of certification, right? So for example, um, you know, we were talking about the ACDA here. So if you're looking at the design certifications path, it goes a lot like what you see on this page here. Start with taking Aruba Design Fundamentals. That's the uh, course that you would want to go to. Um, if you feel like you already have the knowledge or maybe you've already read the course materials and you don't really need to take the class, then you can go straight to the Aruba Design Associate exam. You pass that, now you have the ACDA. Um, the only prerequisite for the ACDP, as you can see here, is the Aruba Certified Design Associate. Since you already have that, you can just go ahead and jump right into the exam, or you can take the Designing Aruba Solutions and go ahead and uh, uh, prepare yourself for that exam. Um, another cool thing here that this lists out for you, though, is, is the types of training available. So you can see here for the ACTP, we have web-based trainings, virtual instructor-led trainings, as well as instructor-led trainings. Uh, so you have a couple of different options there for how you would want to get that training, and then you would go ahead and, and take the exam. And then lastly, you have your expert. The expert's going to say that you took the uh, Aruba Advanced Network Design and Solutions, as well as uh, the Aruba Advanced Network and design oh it looks like they just have that twice but you take that uh you take that um course there and then you would want to take the design written exam as well as the design practical exam and that would get you up to your aruba design expert now any aruba solution and again i mentioned uh this before but any hpe solution at all whether that be service server storage um you know, or networking, uh, you can go to that, this uh, sort of overall document and it'll lay out the path of your certifications for you, just like you see here in this slide, uh, so that you can sort of pick everything that you want. Um, so guys, that kind of does it for me on the certification portion here. And what I want to do is, is bring on, um, uh, you know, uh, one of our other uh, presenters here today, uh, Nareem Parson. She's going to kind of go over some uh, uh, slides here for you guys, and I'll go ahead and, and, and let her take that away. Hello, everyone. Thank you again for joining today. Uh, as Josh said, my name is Noreen Parsons, and I am a program manager here within our HP business unit at Ingram. And one of my responsibilities and a service that we provide on behalf of our partners is a compliance review with regards to the Partner Ready programs. If you are interested in getting a better understanding of where you stand with your current program requirements, our ask would be that you follow the instructions we have provided here on the slide and send us a copy of your activities report from the HP portal. From there, what we can do is take a look at what certifications you currently hold as well as still need and provide you with a detailed gap analysis. Now, this analysis will not only provide you with the certifications required to maintain compliance, but it will also include roadmaps for the necessary course and exam info needed to achieve those certifications. And we're also willing to schedule a call with you to review those requirements in more detail. So if that's something that you would be interested in, please do not hesitate to reach out to our Aruba Go team and we will work on coordinating that with you. And Josh, if you can move to the next slide for me. One thing that we also want to make you aware of is that Ingram Micro is an authorized HP training provider. So as you are on your certification journey, we would just ask that you reach out to our training team with any course needs that you may have. 
these courses are offered at a discount from Ingram, and I have actually included some details here on one that we currently have scheduled for next month. This course would actually align to the Aruba Certified Switching Associate, the ACSA, which is one of the technical certifications that is also accepted for silver status within the Partner Ready for Networking program. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Josh. All right, thank you so much, Noreen. That was great.